Hi everyone, um, I'm Sophie and I'm going to talk to you about what it's like to be a life drawing model. Um, I've been doing it for about six years now and some of the slides you're going to see are uh, different artists' uh, pictures and drawings that they've done and they've very kindly allowed me to show for the talk today. Um, how I got into it was uh, my dad's friend was teaching him how to draw portraits or paint portraits and he suggested to me because he said I had a good skin tone for it which is good because uh, I've pretty much I'm so pale you can see my heart beating through my chest so it's bad for the beach but it's good for life drawing so um, I did it first about six years ago and um, it wasn't a big leap to make because I studied uh, animation in Ballyfermot and one of the things they t teach you a lot is loads and loads of life drawing because apparently if you can draw a naked person you can draw anything so um, what well, these, these are a couple actually of my life drawings and then this is going on to the artist's life drawings after that but um, so what happens in a life drawing class is I come along uh, I have a dressing gown, some slippers, uh, some eye drops because there's a lot of staring involved and um, that's it really, some hair clips, because they like you to wear your hair up so they can see the shape of your head properly, so all the hair gets pinned up. Um, and it differs from class to class. In the Hugh Lane, you're actually, you actually have clothes on, you have like a t-shirt and uh, leggings, but in, say, the RHA, you'd be nude. And uh, what happens is you are posing for about 25 minutes at a time, and you get like 25 minutes, five minute break, 25 minutes, five minute break. And uh, if it's one pose all day, you really have to choose a pose properly because if it's something like that, then you're going to be totally dead by the end of it and you're cursing yourself, so you have to be careful. But um, some of the poses will be gestural, so you might do something like that, and that's only like a minute, so that's fine. But for the, for, like, the more painterly classes, it might be like... <laughs> or something wistful staring into the distance they tend to like. So... Um, you, uh, you're there for the day and it's really good because you can go around and see where the different artists are at at different stages of their, their drawings and their different styles and stuff like that is really, really good. Like, um, and I really enjoy it. Um, there isn't many cons, I suppose, but one of them would be dead legs and such because, as I said, you have to make decisions not to sit on parts of your anatomy and stuff because at the end of the day you'll be like, Ugh. but um, yeah, I mean, you, you kind of have to have a thick skin, excuse the pun, because... I've, it hasn't happened to me, but I've heard of some artists that kind of speak out loud about the model and can be quite hurtful. Like one artist I know called a model, she's, he said she looked like a bag of hams. <laughs> so, <laughs> so she wasn't very impressed when she left. But uh, it's, never, it's never happened to me. It's always been pretty fine. Like, um, but as a job, it's, it's really enjoyable. I mean, it's kind of, it's very accepting. I've worked in the fashion industry as a fashion model and I've worked in this and one kind of tells the truth and one lies and I don't really need to tell you which is which. Like, I'm not here to preach either, but it really does. It's open to anyone of any shape and size and I can do it till I'm 90 if I like. You know, that kind of way. It's not something that you have to stop when you're at the ancient age of 22 or something. So, um... Um, and yeah, as well, sometimes if you're lucky, you get gifts of drawings from the artists, which is deadly because like, they're kind of like heirlooms. Um, Kerry Clark did a portrait for the RHA and he, like in return for me sitting for the portrait, he gave me a small portrait that you'll see at the end. And it's like really nice. It's like that size. And it's like a little Vermeer and it's like my first heirloom. So that's pretty cool. Like, um, and as well, like as someone who's drawn before and done animation, you get to see different styles and like it's almost like a drawing lesson for every class that you go to, which is really good. Like, um, and you get to meet really cool people and everything. And as well, it's like it's sitting still because I'm a bit of a hyperactive person, so it's good to just sit and shut up and say nothing. <laughs> um, you can kind of, I, I used to always say, oh, I, I can't think about personal stuff or rude stuff. I used to actually think that people could look at me and see what I was thinking, but then I figured out, and no, I can think about whatever I want. Like, um, So I kind of used the time to, to think about my, I don't know, economical situation or other things, but it's just a good time to just zen out and think, so... That's a good thing about it. Um, so yeah, it's yeah, just that's it really. Um, I probably haven't filled up five minutes, but uh, that that one there is Connor Walton. Um, he says that the the um, the figs are representative of a puberty of the mind. So that's kind of heavy stuff, but it's really nice too. <laughs> um, and uh, he's great actually. Oh, and this is the little one I was telling about that uh, Kerry Clark gave me. It's like that size. It's deadly. Uh, that's up in uh, in the hall at home. And um, the last one now is the portrait he did for the RHA. Um, it was uh, in 2005, and uh, I'm holding an Easter lily, and the painting's called Young Ireland. So, <laughs> so that's all. Thanks, Emil.